All right, Durgi, and friends. Hello, friends. Welcome back. Let us continue. Now, what exactly are we going to be doing right away? That is the question I'm asking myself right now, because it's still evening. What was I going to do this evening? Again, the game plan right now is to just continue going through the days until we have all our party members guilt regarding um, giving in to Maruki's new reality resolved and thus their new shiny personas gotten. Which I do believe we only have Makoto and Haru left. We'll see. I'm hoping about that. I'm hoping Makoto's at all hints, you know, the romance that I got into with her. I, I hope that at the very least that scene has that, if nothing else in this game. If it doesn't, that's lazy upon the developers in my opinion, because there's definitely romantic tinges to a lot of the Makoto Joker conversations, the ones that are specifically between those two. So I'm hoping that is that, but if it isn't, it'll, it'll be fine. Because there's definitely a lot of even stuff that this the royal added that's extra little cute flavor um with the romances and i i i'm glad for that i'm thankful for that anywho thonking thunking thinking thunking i love his trench coat i've said that before but it's very 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 true so he, i still love it do i brew coffee i'd like to however many 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 I'm not gonna be hanging out with Sojuro because I maxed him out 70 billion years ago. Does one coffee or does one not coffee? I could also do evening confidants, but I'm disinclined heavily. I feel like I should go ahead and do that, but also, let's be honest, I want to barrel through. The more I thonk, the more I'm like, yeah, probably just gonna do coffee, but I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking first, what else could I do? Like, what else could I do to prepare? Oh, I could also upgrade other people's baton pass levels, I suppose. Didn't I do that, though, in general? I don't know if it was everyone. The more I think about that, the more I'd really just, more than anything, I just want to make sure I have SP items at the butthole. Just, you know, because that's nice. I'm probably just going to make coffee. I don't remember what else I might be doing right now, and I might regret not doing other things, but again, just to make sure I can barrel through the memento stuff I've got going and that, you know, and not have to to um, save and quit very much. If, I mean, I, I I don't think I've ever had to exit palaces after the day for a while. I don't want to keep that up. This is the last stretch of that. So I will never touch making coffee because there will be no Make point after Maruki's is done. I have a feeling there is going to be an extra period after Maruki's is done, unless it takes that many days. I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. Uh, wherein I will actually go ahead and do confidants, but I don't know. The more I think about this, the more I'm. I kind of don't really. Yes. You know, I, I like the fact that there's a bunch of these extra days, but you know, I tend to use powerful skills anywho. But and you know, again, it's just I'm used to just doing prep. Hey there, Mako. There she is. I was expecting it to be Haru and then her because I was. Honestly, I guess because I was- I felt like it was saving the romance for last either or or just it was just saving Makoto for last for some reason. But it seems like that's not the case. By the way, I'm not sure if I've seen her wearing this coat before. I'm not sure. I love it, of course. Um, it, this must be her winter school uniform. I like it. I, I, I swear these winter uniforms are different. Unless I don't- unless I just don't remember what they looked like and they looked like this before. But I swear that- We've never seen people wearing heavy coats this much, because, well, we never saw, you know, their lives during January in the original. I, I swear that most of these outfits are unique to Royal, but don't quote me. Let me know if you are aware of that, friends, uh, if it is, if the AR or not. But yeah, I'm glad that we're going to be able to help out Joker's grill friend today. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to speak with you, Makoto Hug. Something to discuss? Nothing that formal, really. Just something to talk to you about. If you have time, can we talk? Of course, you're my freaking Thank girlfriend. Thank you very much. Then let's keep moving for now. I have a feeling it's not going to acknowledge the romance, but we'll see. I'm, I'll be very happy if it does. Dude, something is wrong with Ushimaru. I'm trying to remember, who's Ushimaru? What do you mean? I don't know, something's up. I guess it's not all wrong, but he's all different. Anyone know what he's saying? Ushimaru who? Okay. Oh, okay. 
Apparently our, st our social studies teacher, I literally don't remember his name right now. It's probably another effective Maruki, and it's probably another heart changey side quest. There's actually quite a damn few of these that we're getting here. We're gonna be in Mementos for a while. I was not expecting the Mementos expansion, but of course I should have probably been, because I've seen footage online, like I've mentioned before, of um, Akechi doing navigator lines in the, in the metaverse, so. He's awfully strict, isn't he? Even the freshmen have heard stories. What exactly is different? His personality? Wait, he, what? He's super nice now? That's just it. He's so nice it's creepy. And no matter who I ask, they tell me he's always been like this. Whoa. Yep. That's Maruki's reality for you. We got people saying he's basically the school's own Buddha. It does sound as if he's been enlightened, I suppose. So Dr. Maruki has changed someone's personality? If you really wanted to change, then yes, it's possible. What? Ushimaru of all people? It's like how I wish to be Kasumi. It's like your own situations, most probably. Like your own situations, most probably. Something in his past must have been overwritten. It's also possible his personality has changed independent of any external events. You think the real Ushimaru went through something bad? Hey, he was so nice to everyone. The students took advantage of him and went full delinquent. Ugh, that would be tra That would be traumatic. Well, we can speculate all we like. He's the only one who could say for sure what's changed. It's so difficult to understand, so if it would serve their happiness, then even one's personality can change. I see. Like a change of heart. I guess, though, it's not like Ushimaru was full on evil. I'm getting so mad, I'm gonna go to sleep. Is it even a thing people do when they're mad? Well, apparently it's a thing Ryuji does when he's mad. Honestly, he could always just pay attention to class, <laughs> but he won't. This is this is Ryuji we're talking about, Makoto. I'm pretty sure Makoto knows by now that it's probably a fruitless endeavor with Ryuji. I mean, she's known him for a year now. <laughs> Almost. It's hard to believe. Yeah, so we'll just have to check it out when we're in this we're in his class. Do 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 da do da do da 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 do do yeah. Makoto looked like she had something on her mind. I wonder if there's anything we can do. Well, let's see. And they want us to work. We're not going to work because our girlfriend needs to toggle. So she is going to be in the... Let's go ahead and just uh, go on a school journey then. Because Makoto is going to be in the... Uh, near the... Uh, she's going to be down here. Oh, you guys are still going out? Oh no, I'm just surprised you two lasted this long. Uh, yeah, so they, you know, Axe has got it back together. That's probably a pretty common effect of Maruki's reality. Um, okay, well, hold on. I went. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't need to go up or down a floor. Actually, wait, do I? I'm trying to remember. Is she actually on this floor? I feel like she might be. That it's like. No, okay. Um, I feel like. Wait, hold on. Is that her? No, that's Ryuji. That's gonna be Ryuji, yeah. Is she on floor three? I feel like she's not on floor one. Uh, wait, is, wait is, is she on the, um... Hold on. Is that the student council room? Student guidance room. Faculty office. I think that's it. I think that's the student council room, so what happened? I did. I never thought it'd be co being called the student guidance room. Is she out in front of the school? instead or is she really down here i don't remember i don't remember it being called the student guidance room was it always called that um is she just outside in, in front of the gate uh that's for my bullying blah blah cool but but okay what okay she must be like wait hold on okay where's makoto Hold on. Uh. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, student council room. Oh, it is 3F. What is the student guidance room then? I've never seen that in my life. What the hell is the student guidance room? 
I'm guessing it's a guidance counselor, but wasn't, like, Maruki the guidance counselor? Wasn't there, like, not a guidance counselor and now he's one? Or really is the guidance counselor just, like, a jobs person or something? I don't know. Okay, so the student council building's on the third floor. I Okay. Now I know that. Now I probably remember that. I probably did know that. It's just I haven't had to talk to her for a while. I don't know why I'm doing this Go back and forth right now. I just like to move around when I talk when I'm rambling at this in games sometimes. Anyway, all right, let's go talk to our girlfriend. Wow. Let's make sure she's okay. Let's help her be okay. -er. Oh, Derek, you you're here. Talk for a little while? Well, can I borrow a little bit of your time? Of course I can. Of course I can, Makoto. Huggle. Hey, hey. Close from the say. What are we going to be? Do you want to hang out with her? Please Thank just acknowledge much. the romance. I don't think it's going to, though. It's fine, though. I really... I'm going to be a little disappointed, though. I'm sorry. Ooh. Ooh, I like her room. I thought I would, you know, reserve just like the woman herself, you know? I really like how you go to everyone's rooms in this. I just like seeing, you know, what they look like, because you've never seen what their rooms look like. Also, um, I imagine that, goddammit, no matter what this conversation goes like, and if it acknowledges the romance whatsoever, I imagine they have sex in here after this, or at least hang out a little bit, or at least kiss a little, you know, cuddle a little, goddammit. That is my headcanon, regardless of how this conversation goes, and if it and if it acknowledges their romance whatsoever, which I don't think they will. I don't think it will. I hope so. But yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> Sorry for calling you over so suddenly. There's just something I had to tell you. Uh, did something happen? Honestly, I wanted to apologize, Makoto Hug. I couldn't back you up when you needed me the most. That's not true. And it is true. Ever since the new year, I was stuck in Dr. Mar Maruki's false reality. Welcome to the club. And just like everyone else, I don't blame you at all. One lick. It's all Maruki, man. Hey. You remember that time before I joined the Phantom Thieves? When I called you to the student council room? I challenged you on your ideals, threatened to expose you all as if I knew anything about what was going on. But since then, I've learned so much from the Phantom Thieves. From you. You've saved me more times than I can possibly count, Daw. After all that, I promised myself that if you were ever in trouble, I would leap in to save you. That's cute. But I forgot that, Val. I just threw it away so I could cling to Father and Sis. It's awful. I to know that all along, I was weak I was so weak and self censored. I actually, I honestly thought that they didn't know it all along. But several of them have made it clear that that was what occurred. We're all like that. Honestly, if Joker had a change to his reality, I bet he would also at least be tempted to cling to it. But it's interesting because his reality didn't seem to change at all, which I find interesting. And I wonder why exactly. Is it just because chosen one protagonist, uh, or, you know, it'd, it'd be more convenient for the story, or I wonder if there's other reasons that, like, are mentioned offhand um, that back it up, either that have already happened or that might happen future. I have a feeling that probably either happened already or will. Um, like, someone will say something as, oh, this is probably why Joker did, wasn't affected. I don't quite remember anything like that right now. There might have already been something, but anyhow. We're all like that. You think so? No? Maybe you're right. It's strange, though. I can always forgive mistakes from others, but never from myself. Yeah, it's a very common human dilemma, but, 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 I promise you, because I've been able to be be more okay with my own mistakes, you absolutely can learn to do it. It's just interestingly more natural to not, you know, and to be more forgiving of others than yourself. I think a lot of it is because you see all that goes on in your head, you know, and you, you see, you usually just, I don't know, you're more aware that you could have done better. You're aware of all the circumstances. And I think your mind logics it that because you knew all of this, you could have done better. And I think that's a lot of how it is. And then you take that personally, and then, you know... And that's the key, is the taking it personally. And that you need to chuck that out your brain window. Real hard. And it takes practice, but goddammit, I do it easier and easier all the time. Everyone can, I believe in y'all. You know, I think I'm more lonely than I was willing to admit. Many, many Makoto Huggle. Father never spent much time at home. When he was there, he always had his mind on some case. 
and Sis put all her time into her work for both our sakes. I respected them both so much, and I still do, of course, but I, ca I can't just let them take care of me forever. You may be right. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I still live with my parents, but I can't let my dad take care of me forever. That's what I, I also kind of feel her in. There's so many levels I feel Makoto on, which is, just adds to how much I love her. I think it's the right lesson to take. In any case, I made my decision. Hey, so I'm done just sitting quietly and doing as, I, as I'm told. If I'm weak or self-centered or lonely or too dependent on my family, then that's my problem to fix. But my pain's still a part of me. All the struggles, your support, it's what helped me stand up for myself. I can't lose that. Aw. And see, that's that's the thing. My struggles led me to making these videos and loving them so much. And talking so openly and wholeheartedly about this stuff. You know? And I, I enjoy this so much. And the more that I put myself out there, I, I, I'm going to make a career out of um, creating things, at least. I don't know about this yet, but... This is a step in the right direction to that. I can feel it, you know? And God damn it, I love making videos. And more and more of me creates things and wants to put stuff out there more of the time and less of the time wants to be as reclusive as I used to be and be as basically idle as I used to be and uh, keeping to myself in every possible way, you know? We all have gifts to be shared with the world and I'm, I'm finally sharing mine and it feels really good. I want to be able to look at the most awful, disgraceful parts of myself and still be able to say, so what? Fuck yeah, Makoto. I love her. And you know what? I promise you, Makoto, in a few years, you're probably going to be able to do it. You know why? Because I'm already more and more able to do it all the time with my own faults. It feels really good. Remember, y'all, as depressed as you might be right now, as, 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 as much as you might hate yourself right now, I fucking promise being someone who's been through that shit myself that there is a way out it just often has to be through perseverance and through doing the things that are the most uncomfortable to you but god damn it through pushing through the discomfort of just continuing to do youtube regardless of everything swirling around my head i'm now so happy that i'm doing youtube and i know for a fact that there's so much else i could go through the exact same process with so i'll be working on them That's great. Thank you very much. It's a relief to know you're supporting me. Uh, it's a relief to know you're supporting me, Makoto. And if I can get everyone to understand me and really see who I am, God, that is everything she's saying is fucking. That's probably the most hitting home thing that she just said because that's part of why I make this stuff and ramble about myself while I uh, while I make these videos. You know, I'm in these videos because. I want to help people understand what I've been through, as long as they want to listen. Then I think that'll give me strength. God damn, I love you, Makoto, because god damn it, you're me in so many ways. If I'm ever tempted like this again, I'll remember to stay true to myself. Fuck yeah, Makoto, I believe in you. Even if it's not a conscious decision. And yeah, a lot of times it ain't. That's why I wanted to apologize. I guess I'm not completely ready to stand on my own just yet, but I'll keep trying and I won't run away. Fuck yeah, Makoto. Yeah, that didn't acknowledge her romance at all. I wasn't expecting it to. Again, not too keen on that, but it's okay. And it was a great scene, and there was so much I related to in there, because that's always how it is with Makoto, and I love these character moments regardless. I just hope that Royal acknowledges the romance whatsoever, but I think that honestly it just won't. But I know there's the Valentine scene, and it might... Well, I say Royal whatsoever, but what I mean is the third semester. I know Royal actually has extra romance, bitch, which I, which I love and thank you. But I have a feeling that the Valentine's Day scene might actually be enhanced in some way. And I know that there's at least that coming up, and that's an obvious duh thing. Um, also, interesting, It's it's like a supercar now. It's cool. It's like steampunky. I like that. This is me? Oh, I get it now. I'm a badass vehicle because I'm a fucking badass. All right. Makoto's persona Anat has been transformed into Agnes. Agnes? Agnes? I wonder how that's supposed to be pronounced. As per usual, friends, if you know how that's pronounced, let me know in the comments as best as you can through text, you know. <laughs> it's strange. All it took to make my heart stronger was to pull, put myself first. Yeah, 
a lot of times you keep thinking that that means it makes you selfish and uh, self-centered and a dumbass and all these other things. I don't know why I specifically said dumbass there, but like focusing on yourself first feels so selfish because that's what the world tells you it is. But what it really is, as long as you're not like, oh, I'm going to focus on myself because fuck everyone else. As long as you don't have that energy behind it. As long as it's like, I need to take care of myself. A lot of times, without realizing it, you are not, you don't have the right kind of energy to actually be of good use and help to people as much as you'd like to be, regardless of how selfless you are, and regardless of how much time and energy you actually spend trying to help people, uh, because I've been one of these people, I'm sure a lot of other people here can relate, um, because I think a lot of people that are really into games, like me, are the kind of shyer people and the more, the more sensitive people. Because games really help with that, oftentimes, I feel. Games, especially games like this, with this kind of emotion, these kind of deep emotional stories. Um, or at least emotional stories. I don't know about deep. A lot of times they aren't very deep, but goddammit, they're healing. Regardless of how, of what the quality of them are, usually. Um, by the way, I really love the cute- I really love the, uh, the closed eyes smile on her avatar right there. That is- uh, I'm soaking that up. That is wonderful. It, it's- it's awesome to me that a lot of times the, uh, it's honestly awesome to me that a lot of times there's just a little bit of a different expression on their- their, like, 3D model as opposed to their- their, um- their uh, 2D avatar. Now, of course, I also love the serene smile on her 2D avatar there. Uh, very, very much. And I think that that's a little bit more Makoto-ish than the very cutesy anime -y, uh, um, thing she's got going on in her 3D model. Um, probably because that's just an easier thing to animate in a 3D model context, but yeah, like... Um, I enjoy... All those little details. There's so many great little details. I fucking love great little details. It really makes a lot of games even better. That sounds like you. Sorry, but it looks like I'll have to rely on you a while longer. Listen, you're my fucking girlfriend, Makoto. Of course I'm gonna let you rely on me. That's that's like part- that's like half of the relationship. I mean, hell, we're already kind of apparent- I mean, hell, isn't a relationship supposed to be relying on each other? period. So I hope you'll be prepared. Of course I will. Thanks for staying over so late, too. I'll see you later. What was she meant by I hope you'll be prepared? Part of me felt like that was a romantic acknowledgement, but it probably is said to Joker regardless of romance, though I'm not 100% sure, certain. All skill slots are currently full. Please select a skill to forget. Checkmate. Uh, decreases attack defense actually evasion for all foes. Very nice. And let me guess. Uh, remove stat debuffs for all allies and increase defense for all allies. Oh, dang. Um, I want to keep both of those. Let's see. Nuke boost, nuke amp, evade psi, tonic flare, midi arahan. I want to keep all those. So which one of these do I get rid of? I'll probably get rid of one of these. Um, stat debuffs, defense. I think, hmm. I'd rather be able to remove stat debuffs, and there's definitely other ways to increase defense. Decrease defense. I'm sure I'll find other good ways. To, in fact, I'm pretty sure a lot of those buffs. Yeah, there's definite some of the other buffs that I just got definitely do that. So. But there's a lot of Thieves' Den updates happening. One of these days, I'll do, like, a special episode. It'll be after this. But I'll do a special episode where I show off a super decked out Thieves' Den. Um, that's carried into a new game plus. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> The new game plus that I will start right after this and be chipping at for a while and keep making videos of. Um, 
Hi, hi. After this devastating pond to 6-4, we took a break for dinner. We're back now, but he's decided to resign without making a single move. I'm actually kind of surprised. He must have realized he lost the game in the middle of eating. Apparently they had curry, considering the mood. It must have been hard to swallow. Oof. Do 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 do. Is that is that what happens? Is that something that happens in chess? That's an oof, man. Um. I know you haven't been visiting the fan site lately. You were on it nonstop last year. It's because I got tons of other fun stuff to do. I got money, and there's lots of things I want to buy with it. I agree, there have been a lot of fun things to do lately. Everything's going great for some reason. I have a big shoot coming up in April. Really, that's awesome. Why don't we plan a vacation to celebrate? Ah, cute. Well, thanks to the coffee. Do I well? Yeah, a young couple goes cute. I'll... And yeah, they usually were arguing before, weren't they? And that's the thing. Is that again, everything's all hunky-dory, but well, that's not really the point, is it? You know, I have a friend of mine who tends to be more of a pessimistic person, but he has an interesting stance on pessimism. And the more I play this, and by interesting, well, I'll, I'll explain in a second. But the more that I play through this, the more I'm like, why does he dislike... He said he disliked the third semester. I'm starting to wonder why the fuck he dislikes it. Because he has this idea that life sucks and he's just learned to just embrace the suck and have fun with it, basically. And I just, I feel like this is kind of going in the same philosophical direction as that. Because we're trying to erase this reality where everyone's happy. Because it's fake. And I'm just like, I I just, I can't really wrap my head around why he dislikes this. I'll have to have a conversation with that with him with that later. But anywho, um. Do do da do 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 do. We should probably go to Mentos if we want to get past these those cables. Just a cage of penis. I'm not sure why I said cage of penis. That doesn't even make sense. It always be. Okay. Uh, okay. I. Hmm. Part of me wants to just do coffee. Uh, again. And not worry about. Uh. Like, confidants. Again. I feel like I, I kind of should be doing confidants, but. I will do confidants with whatever extra days I have. Right now, I just want to make sure I have enough coffee to just sure go through it. all the mementos and maruki stuff without having to make any more. Just constant mementos every day. Da -do -da -do. The, I mean, although, I'll probably end up making more anyway during that time, because what else am I going to have to do? Have to do. Yeah, looks like the only charm's probably off on you, hecky. You should rest now. I have a big day tomorrow. A bigger day than my penis. Well, that ain't hard. It's a very average sized penis. <laughs> TMI, I know. I'm sorry. Good morning. There's Haru, and I think she's the last one. I don't quite remember, but I'm gonna go ahead and... I mean, okay. If this keeps happening for one more character or so, I don't think it will. Like, if, if none of this... If, if there isn't one of these tomorrow, I'm just going straight to Mementos. Whenever these are actually done, I'm going there. Um, but yeah. What's up, Haru? Hey, Durgan Coom, might I borrow you for a bit? By the way, I fucking love the cute little floofy um, earmuffs she's got going on that really complement her floofy, floofy hair that the fan base has kind of nicknamed her after, I've noticed, because they usually just call her the, the floof. Which I love. I love that. I've, I've been using it too throughout the Let's Play, if you've noticed. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I should say. Also, I again, I like her little, uh, her coat. I, I, I always enjoy these, the, those, those coats with those kind of buttons. I, I like them. Alright. Can I borrow you for a bit? I think we need to talk. Can you come to the roof after school? Um... Something happened? 
Hmm, you'll find out soon enough. Only joking, it's nothing terribly important, really. Whenever you're free, I'll be waiting. I know it's a bit sudden, my apologies. Yeah, it's okay, go? Haru, anything for our friend now. Ah, and a possible waifu in another universe. Which, yeah, I will definitely be romancing Haru at some point. Um, prob- No, I'm probably gonna do Kasumi, or Sumire, in my, uh... In my next playthrough. Because I'm not going to be doing any kind of harem or anything. I'm not going to be cheating on anyone with anyone. I'm not going to... I'm not going to romance any more than one girl a playthrough. I am too soft-hearted to do that even in a video game. I am too hopeless romantic to do that. I'm too polygamous to do that. Anyway. Or, did I say polygamous? I meant monogamous. Oh my god. Oh, looks like the train's coming. Let's sign up. Didio, hurry, we, we. Hurry, we. Hurry, we, 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 we. Well, shall we begin? Have you all heard? The economy is apparently doing pretty well this year. Because of that, I tried getting into the stock market. Not a thing you want to jump into with no experience. I lost five months of my allowance in one fell swoop. Oof, oof, man. It wasn't a huge loss, so it's not that bad, but. It's quite a thing to stare your failure in the face. My portfolio looked awful. And yes, your portfolio, because that totally matters at all. I will never invest. Maybe that's... Maybe you could say that's dumb, but I really think investing is a trap for people to throw money into these industries by the industries. It really just... Why, why, what else would it be? It's literal gambling. And... I don't know, I just... If I had that kind of money laying around, I would save it, or I would buy things that... You know... I... What I... You know, if... if I, you could say I am, an, I am an investor, but you know what I'd invest in? Tools and games and computer equipment and things to keep doing what I love. To keep doing what I love with more quality so that I can make, make a living off of it more. Because I'm going to start making a living on this stuff, on doing these things that I love. I'm gonna figure out what to do, how to do it. I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna keep working at it until it just happens. Um, but, um, yeah. Um, and yeah, like, again, I also am in, you know, a pretty good financial situation right now because my, my, I'm still, you know, my dad's got a lot saved up and he's still he's still taking care of me um and i'm i'm taking care of him and the house in return as much as i can well more of the house and the cats and my mom who has dementia and also chores and things for him sometimes that kind of thing and you know i'm glad my dad's willing to support my freaking nerdy ass sitting in front of my computer trying to make a living just doing that basically for the moment anyway um, I do would I would like to expand it beyond sitting in front of this computer, for sure. But that's where it's starting. Anywho. Hey, speaking of things being awful, even though <laughs> nothing's awful, you can always look on a different side of it, a brighter side of it. That's how I feel anyway. Uh, I really do believe that, and it, I believe it very well because I just I've always been able to be more optimistic than a lot of people. I, uh, I used that word because my portfolio looked absolutely terrible, but awful originally meant something else. You know what's funny is, I say that, but uh, as for myself and what other people think about me, I have tended to be negative, but everything else, basically, I tended to be positive about. But I'm working on that, and now I'm more positive about, you know, the pr the the relating to myself stuff, too, and it's awesome. So, Durgan Kuhn, a question. Huh? What, is the answer? what did the word awful originally mean? Hmm. Let's check the internet. Impressive. Interesting. I didn't know that. Some word trivia for the Durgan. I'm soaking this up because I'm an English nerd. If you haven't noticed, I like to be eloquent. And the reason is because I just love English and... I like words, and I've always been pretty darn good with words, I'd say. With one talent, I'd definitely say I have. Impressive. Correct. That is correct. 
Yes, it was only comparatively recently that awful took on a negative implication. Interesting. It once stood for all of any kind. Interesting. Kind of how, you know, gay used to mean happy, and now it means gay, but it, well, I mean, that's, that's a diff that's a bad explanation. Because it, it didn't turn into a negative context, it turned into, you know, a context meaning that someone is homosexual. Um, but what's a good there's definitely there's definitely examples of meanings changing i don't know about positive to negative though like for example actually wait um let's see i'm trying to think oh yeah like for example the word sick you know people use sick a lot as an expression of how awesome something is when sick used to just mean that you were sick you know and that's still used to this day a lot, but that, that emerged, I feel like, in, like, the 90s or something like that. And it's stayed around. There's a lot of people that use sick still. Anyway. You know, in that context. This is why older English documents use phrases like awful majesty and awful power. Oh, yeah! I've seen that before as well. I've definitely seen, you know, like, awfully is sometimes a word that's used to describe things that are just very any certain way. It's very interesting. Yeah. I never noticed that, but yeah. Like, it's still kind of used that way sometimes. I never really thought about that, but it is. Neat. It still could be used to imply a certain kind of dread. That was just one of several possible uses back then. But times changed and language evolved as the centuries went by. We ended up with more specific words. Awful for the bad and awesome for the good. Ah... So that's the origination of awesome. Awful, awesome, makes sense. Whoa, he actually knew that? Maybe I should ask him and borrow his notes. Nice going. Wow, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Do, 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 do. Knowledge increase that I didn't need since size palace. <laughs> uh, this is, it's, the game clearly is designed for you to do the opposite of what I did, which is focus what I've done for every playthrough, and I only realized this this playthrough, but it's 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 clearly designed for you to focus more on confidence than than um than skills. But uh, I don't usually tend to do that. I um I tend to focus on the confidence I want to and then shrug, you know. Definitely my party members though, for sure. Um, but maxing social links is something I definitely want to do one of these playthroughs, like, beginning to end. But at the same time, I would rather max social links in a, you know, in a freaking uh, in my, and I will absolutely max social links in my next, in my, my New Game Plus playthrough that I'll show you the bits and pieces of that I know I have not, uh, recorded and, um, you know, I, I honestly very well might do several. I am definitely going to do... I, I, I'd like to do several New Game Plus playthroughs, maybe on harder difficulties and all sorts of stuff, and just kind of... Because I love this game so much, I have a feeling I'll go back to it a lot. I want to use that to basically cover every tiny scrap of content in this game, because it's so awesome, and I think it deserves that. Um, I have, oh, it's time already? Let me say one last thing. After this winter, you'll all be studying for exams. You can use your time wisely or slack off. Or, you know, you could use your time wisely by not studying for exams, but doing what you love. That's what I did in high school, and I'm still doing it. Now, granted, I'm still living in my parents' house, but at this point, I'm very resolved to make a living out of what I love. And I know so many examples of people who've done it, so I will do it. I've always felt that way, you know? I'm just still on that journey. Either way, I guess your test scores are going to be awful. Oh, my yeah. god. Well, thanks for sure. You're definitely an impressive guy. What's that supposed to mean, Morgana? <laughs> Awe-inspiring. Might be a little much, but I know I can count on you. Aw. Ah, Morgana hug. Thank you, friend. I know I can count on you too, Morgana. God damn it, you're awe-inspiring. I don't give a fuck. You're breathtaking, even. <laughs> you're fucking breathtaking. Like Keanu Reeves. There. Anyway. Everyone's breathtaking. God damn it. The world's awesome and people are awesome. I really do truly believe that. Mm. Now, of course, I'm not saying everything in the world is awesome. I do feel like there's a potential for everyone to be awesome and everything to be awesome. 
I really do think that. I think that's part of why I can have such a happy-go-lucky stance on life, and it's just fucking easier to live more optimistically regardless of how realistic it is. It's just fucking easier, because you're not walking around thinking everything's gonna go wrong and literally stressing yourself because of that. I don't know, that, that's how I approach it anyway, but I understand the logical implications of pessimism, I just feel like it's suffering that is needless, regardless. Anyway, I'm worried about Haru. Hey, shouldn't you go talk to her? And a lot of pessimists have argued, like, I've actually had this argument with people before of, like, if you're if you're too optimistic, then you know then then you'll you'll be disappointed by life because and I'm trying to remember what the argument is, but I honestly I think it's bullshit. I really 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 I don't even think I know it is because of how I've experienced my life being more of an optimist. But there's there's an argument that too much optimism is bad, and I don't think so because. Um, a lot of people say that basically life will blindside you because you thought things were going to go better than they did, and you and you get disappointed about it, but you don't because if you're pes if you're actually if you're really an optimist and not just trying to fake optimism, then you absolutely will take the bright side of absolutely anything that happens. So that that doesn't apply, you know. All right. Now, I'm not saying that all pessimists should go fuck themselves or anything, and I think that pessimism is actually helpful for some types of people. I know a friend of mine who definitely fits that criteria, I'd say. But, you know, it, for me, it's... It's the... Uh, pes uh, for me, optimism is the absolute way, and I just... The people that tell me that isn't just don't know how my brain is, and how my life is, only I know that, you know? I should write something. You know, granted, you can help people window into your experience, though, and that helps, and that's very nice. The intent of that. And that's part of what this is. But yeah, expecting people to get you 100% is... That's what, you know, setting yourself up for disappointment is, you know. Um, and I learned that, and now I just kind of do this stuff because it's interesting because I used to feel like I needed to get people to understand me, and that's part of why I felt so you know, scared about doing this, because I just felt like I, I wasn't able to articulate it all enough, but it was more just that just, there's human barriers to just the sheer amount of understanding you would need to really grasp the entire content of another person's mind. So, yeah, and now that I get that, it's interesting, now I just, like, I express myself. It's just so easy, and it's, it's so euphoric, and exactly what I want to do with my life is basically express myself. Um... But hopefully in ways that help others and, you know, and entertain others and that kind of thing, you know? Anywho, friends. Let us cont let us go see the Haru. Let us cheer up the floofy floof. Uh, she's going to be on the roof. Yep. Yepers. What's up, Haru? Dear Goon, what brings you here today? Well, I came to see you, because you... Can I speak with you for a moment, please? Uh, do you have some time to despair right now? Of course I do. There's nothing I need to tell you, is that okay? Of course there is. What does Haru's room look like? I'm interested. Seems like Haru has something on her mind. Hey, hey. Haru, what's the plan? Are you gonna spend the day with Haru? Of course I will. Thank you. Oh my god, her voice is so cute. Kudos to the voice actors. Her voice is so... Warm and lilting, and I, I love it so much. I'll treat you to some delicious black tea. I love black tea. Fuck yeah. I literally drink black tea every day. I love it, man. Um, my favorite kind, by the way. I have several that I rotate between, but I really like... Um, I really like Earl Grey. I really, really like uh, English breakfast, and I also really enjoy uh, Irish breakfast as well. Um... I also really enjoy um, a pretty unique black tea here in America called Bigelow Constant Comment, which I do believe is a very like specific brand thing. I'm not sure if there's much like it, but it's got like citrus notes in there, and it's really good, and I enjoy it greatly. Anywho. 
Do 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 do. I'm sorry. Sorry to call you over out of the blue like this. Okay, yeah, I had a feeling her room would be nice and gaudy and pink and yeah, but and you know regal. But yeah, it's cute. I love all the I love the warm purples. I I think that's a purple on the wall. It might be a baby blue. Yeah, I think it's more like a blue comparing it to her clearly purple jacket. Again. I've, I definitely have colorblind tendencies, though, so I've noticed that, so I very well might be seeing it wrong, but anyway, or at least as far as I'm aware, I have colorblind tendencies. A lot of people have said I was wrong about colors anyway. Your, your room is beautiful. Um, Aw, there's nothing to do that. Oh, that unusual here. I don't need to look around like that. Oh my god, she's... Oh my god, the blushing portrait makes my heart go... Ah! <laughs> I needed to speak ab with you about the situation, or rather, because of it. I feel I owe you an apology, Dirk. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I was just so useless. Oh, what do you mean? It's interesting how we don't seem to be able to be like, okay, you're gonna apologize for being taken in by Maruki, right? I, it's okay, everyone else has done it. And I promise it's okay. I just kind of wish you could do that, but again, it's it's supposed to be about them expressing this sincerely to you. So I get it, but it seems a little bit dumb how dumb he seems to be about this after hearing this from every other party member except for Haru now. Anyway, I'm so ashamed. Dr. Maruki crafted me a saccharine perfect new reality, and I accepted it without a second's pause. It was only because of you that I was able to find my own path. You were the one that, who gave me a future, and what did I do with it? Well, you took the thing that was waved in front of your face that was exactly what you wanted. Of fucking course you did. Like, think about it. No, you're not pathetic. You're fucking human. And I, I really hate how everyone's blaming themselves about it. I'm just glad they all get over it by the end of these conversations. Uh, hug for everyone. It's not your fault. Maruki's... Really, 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 <coughs> really powerful. Like hell. I bet a lot of people would unironically just choose what Maruki is able to do if they were given the choice in real life. They probably would la later realize that it wasn't as... It's, it, it's not like before, because, you know, if you, if you think about it, if you just got back everything that you lost, or if you just, if, if just your fingers snapped and your reality was so much better, you know, if you were able to do that, think about it. Yeah, a lot of times we'd like that to happen, but think about that. Like, this is kind of the point I've been trying to reach this whole time. I think I finally got what I really feel like, feel about this, but like... You'd realize that it feels kind of empty, you know why? Because you didn't end up working for it at all. A lot of times, if you actually get to a better place in life, when? I, I'm going to say when, you know why? Because I believe everyone is very capable of getting to a better place um, from from a darker place. Which is why I, I deliberately say when. Because I want to empower people through these videos if possible. That'd be fucking awesome if someone got out of depression or something because of my videos. I'd be the mo that would be that would be the absolute fucking epitome of my goddamn career is anyone any one person even saying that to me because that is what let's players have done for me and a lot of other people and that is why I make let's plays. I love this. I love these kinds of videos so much. And um, especially if you really be open and emotional. If you really get open and emotional about these it about this kind of stuff, it can be really healing for people, I feel. And also, of course, if you're just being fun about it. Having fun with it. Of course, you know. It's not your fault. Maruki's really painted you into a corner. You know what? Instead of saying that, she's gonna deny it, so I'm just gonna say don't worry about it. No. You're so kind, Durgkun, but I'm afraid it doesn't feel like enough this- that doesn't feel like enough this time. I want to stand at your side through this, and I want to do it with pride. Aw, Haru hug. You didn't work for it, and also, there's another point. Especially in the case of getting back someone that died or something you lost. You know, 
you're going back to that with the knowledge that it just it isn't right that's not what happened but you were able to restore it through literal magic in in, in maruki's case like if, if, this, if that was really possible would it really be as satisfying as people might think it would be i don't know about that i really don't at least not forever and i think that's kind of what these arcs are supposed to sort of say uh i wanted us to rebuild the company together. No, more than that. I wanted to save my father. But that's just not possible. No matter how important he was to me, he's gone now and I cannot bring him back. Surely if, if I could just rewrite the past for my own benefit, it would ter be terribly selfish. That's another good point. Because at the end of the day, I feel like Maruki is unknowingly doing, the, doing this from a selfish place. He wants things to change for himself. And he thinks that everyone must want things to change the same way, right? And he probably doesn't even really understand the implications of what he's doing at all, even for himself. And he might even be now doubting himself. Who knows, man? He also might be doing this entirely subconsciously. Where is he in reality if he's doing that? I really wonder. Hmm. Why do you think that? I don't know. But what of the newfound purpose I gained after my father's death? What of all the support you gave me? See, yeah, that's the kind of thing I was talking about. Like, you would lose all that kind of stuff if you just went back to, you know, the good old days, as a lot of people call it. Even if I could simply choose to be happy, it wouldn't be worth denying everything that bought, brought me here. You can choose to be happy, but... I see it more as the kind of happiness I'm talking about is different than the kind that most people would assume when I say that. What I mean by you can choose to be happy is you can choose to be content with your life. You can. No matter what the fuck situation you're in, you can be used to be content with it. I still have a lot of the same things people would call problems in my life, but they don't feel like problems to me anymore. Most of the time. Sometimes they creep back up, but I'm getting better and better and better at literally not having problems regardless of having the same things in my life. They don't have to be problems. Your mind makes them problems subconsciously. I promise you that because I've finally figured out how to get my mind away from that state. And it's hard to explain and I think everyone has to go through their own journey to do it, but I promise you, it's possible for everyone. There's no way it can't be. If I can do it, you can too. So, I need you to understand what I'm determined, that I'm deter determined to see this through. I won't run away, run away anymore. Hell yeah, Haru. That's what I'm saying. About, you know, trying to have a creative career in this scary world, man. In this constantly shifting world. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm going to try to have a creative, independent career, and I'm going to have a lot to learn. And I'm going to have a lot of solitude, but that's... I'm not really going to be... I'm not predisposed to loneliness like a lot of people are, so I think I'll be fine with that, but there's going to be still things I'm going to need to sacrifice and and go through continually in order to, um, to achieve these dreams I've got. Um, but I know that I want to create things for a living, like these videos. I know I want to still have a lot of time to play games because I fucking love video games more every day of my life. I still want to, I want to be more disciplined about writing stuff, and I want to make writing part of my career. I want to definitely, you know, become more social and, and network, um, and become able to put out stuff of better quality to more people because of, you know, that kind of a thing. And I, I just, there's, I've already, I already kind of understand the directions I feel like I need to take, and I'm just going to kind of let my heart guide me to the endeavors that I do, and then I'm going to figure it out by trying and trying again. And then I will make a living this way. I will make a living by creating things that I, I feel need to be in the world. And that I need to see myself make. I need, you know... Like, there's so much... There's so much drive behind it. By the time I'm 30, I fucking guarantee you... I'm going to be somewhere with this. At least I hope so. I'm going to keep pushing until it happens, regardless, or until something 
makes me change course for, for whatever reason, but right now I have so much drive and determination because 26 years of stagnating because I was so afraid of the world are finally gone. And now I just have a lot of drive and I keep pushing. And the thing is, is I still spend a lot of time basically self-soothing and reflecting and that kind of thing, but it's less avoidant and more, okay, how do I get back on track? How do I get back to making stuff, to figuring this stuff out, to putting stuff out there, to figuring out what I need to learn and do in order to make a living the ways that I want? How do I actually figure out what exactly I want to do? How exactly I want to create things? You know, what exactly I need to do to even get there, or even close to there, and what my ultimate goals are. Because my ultimate goal doesn't actually ha lie in YouTube right now. It lies in being part of making video games, because I love them so much. Um, mostly on the writing team of, like, one big RPG, at least. I also would like to have some say in the voice directing, because I think I've got some talent there. I'd, I'd also like to have some say in the visual direction, because... Whenever I'm writing things, I have such vivid images of things, and I, I often imagine it in art like this, in this kind of colorful art style. And I'm not an artist. I could probably learn some form of visual arts, but I don't think I'll ever be a visual artist. I'm, I'm a word artist. But I would like to have some say in the visual design of something. Um, that would be very ha I would be very happy with that. But as long as the visual design is something that I just, I can really get behind, then I won't really care what it's like. But I would, of course, like to influence the designs of the characters that I write, at least. As long as I can do that, I will be a very happy Durgan. But yeah, that's, that's, I'm gonna have to learn a lot of things and, and go through a lot of stuff and have a lot more money than I currently have in order to make that happen, but I really want to. Um, maybe one of these days I'll see a different path and follow that, but right now that's a path I'd really like to be on. I hope. But for the moment, I'm making stuff online because I don't know where to start with that. And I still don't really have the gumption to sit down and learn, like, you know, game development related stuff, but I know I have the tools to. And I feel like the more that I put into my love of games and put it out there, the more I will be driven to go ahead and start learning something new. Because that's another thing I'm having to, you know, well, learn how to do, is just to sit down and learn something, regardless of how scary it is, regardless of especially my own fears that I can't learn it fast enough or good enough or whatever, because I have a learning disability. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't mean I can't learn, though. If I couldn't learn, then I couldn't make videos... I'm, I'm making stuff. I had to learn how to edit these and make the thumbnails and and record these and re use all the programs and use all the hardware, you know. And I did all that. I can learn things. It's just... I basically shied away from learning a lot. And I still shy away from learning a lot of things and, and absorbing a lot of things that a lot of other people naturally learn and absorb because, you know, you're supposed to or whatever. And you're all, you've got to learn this stuff by the time you're 25, especially if you're a man. That shit fucking kills me. There's a reason contractors exist. Anyway, there's, I've just noticed that there's a lot of things my sensitive mind cannot hold along with the things that I love. Because the things that I love itself are so voluminous. Voluminous, the things that I really want to learn, the person I want to be. There's so much there, and there's so much energy that goes into that. I don't have time for all the extraneous stuff. And I decide what's extraneous for me. And all this gaming stuff is not extraneous for me. It's gonna be that way for a lot of people, but they don't get it. You know? They'd probably look at my life and be like, Oh my god, he's just a fucking... He's got no future, and he's a fucking... I don't even know what they'd say about me other than I'm... Like some cave-dwelling neckbeard or whatever. And you know what? I literally have a beard on my neck. I don't. I don't do. I don't do neckbeard things. Thank God. I'm not a weird simper. Thank simp. Thank fuck. I'm not. I'm not. I don't do the milady shit. You know. Like I hate the idea of neckbeard. I have a beard that goes to my neck. Whoop de fuck do. I probably should shave that. But you know. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get off these tangents one of these days. Like right now, actually. So I need you to understand that I'm determined to see this through. Oh. I won't run away anymore. 
I refuse Dr. Maruki's gift to us. Honestly. I'll choose our real I'll choose our reality, the one I define through my own hardship, mistakes, and tears. Uh, and also good things as well. And that's the other thing. There's always a side another side to that. There always is. We 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 Is this my power? I see, so I can still fight harder. By the way, Lucy is awesome look like. I'm sorry I kept you for so long. That's all I wanted you to hear. I, 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 I've seen the gun in the skirt. I'm not sure if that is in one of her older personas. But I know that the gun in the skirt is part of her Persona 5 Strikers moveset. I don't quite remember... If that's how some brothers look like, but I like that they may maybe took that from Royal, even though a lot of other things from Royal they kind of nixed. Like they they literally don't acknowledge Kasumi slash Shimire's existence in Strikers. It's weird. Anyway, from now on I'll fight even harder to make up for all the trouble I've caused you. Dah heart hug. You already fight hard. Yes. Thank you. Hearing you say that makes me feel like I can do anything. Fuck yeah, you can, Haru. Everyone can do anything. I'm talking to y'all, too. Y'all can do anything. Get out there and do good shit, Rain. Just like I'm trying to do with these videos and other things. Wow. I will grow even stronger. Strong, floofy hair bean. I mean, considering swinging a giant axe around is probably already a good, uh, a good way to get strong, but I know she means emotionally strong. But still. I have to keep pressing forward, for father's sake, too. Oh, I thank you. I believe in you, Haru. God, her giggles give me so much life. Oh my god. I love her. Thank you. Thanks for coming today. Be careful on your way home. Have a lovely one, Haru. Thank you very much. Life wall. All skill slots are currently full. Please select skill to forget. Horns of barrier that reflects all attacks for all. Holy fuck yes. Well, considering... There's... Considering we've got way better buffs than Heat Riser. I didn't even know this existed. But, boing. Life wall. And on everyone else, we've got buffs out the butthole. Like that. And I want to use those big boys. Yeah. I want to switch a lot of people out and use a lot of their... Uh, use all of those things I just got. I think that's finally it. And unless Akechi has one, I fucking doubt it. Yeah, he, there's no way he does. He never even got taken out of the world anyway, and he doesn't really care about Joker like that anyway. Oh, welcome back. Hey. Hey, what are you going to do about Kawakami? Um, yeah, I... Okay. I'm still going to do coffee today. I, I'm stubborn. I just want to make sure I have all the SP in the universe so I don't have to, you know, conserve it. Because I rather would just use all the skills that I want. Oh, that's right. I got a... Oh, by the way, what's up, Sojiro? I haven't heard anything about those incidents lately. Or, wait, has it always been like this? And again... I will put all the confidants on YouTube. It just will take however many months or even years to, that I end up, you know, slowly chipping at this game and uploading the parts that I know I hadn't, uh, I hadn't ever recorded before. Wait. Do, 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 da, dee. That's our first scratch child. Heck ye. It's strange having grandkids at this age. I could get used to it. I'll have to give you a proper gift soon. Uh, I don't know, there's no need. The kind words are more than enough for me, Dua. Thanks for coffee, I'll just leave it out of here, boss. Dua, though. I'm guessing one of his kids wanted a child, or maybe he just wanted grandchildren. Um, who knows, man. I'm sorry. He's, his reality's probably changed, too. On Discovery, Town Detectives. We're having a special feature on Odaiba in the winter. Even after the Christmas lights have been taken down, snow and Odaiba is a beautiful sight to behold. Stadium is still under construction, but once it's done, it'll bring numerous visitors. It may still be under construction, but it has a mysterious feel to it. It doesn't seem like they realize it's a palace. It's likely that normal people can't see them for what they really are. Interesting. Like, if you don't have a persona power? Interesting. Uh, I just realized, I went up here when what I want to do is freaking 
coffee, 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 brew coffee. Give me coffee, give me coffee, give me, give me, give me coffee. Yes, I'm gonna try making coffee. Make sure you close up. Shape shifter. I'm so used to doing this because I, I love having the SP. I, I still kind of regret it every time I choose this over a confidant, but after this palace, I will have no need for coffee, and however many other days I have left to spend with people, I will. I have. And we'll see if we can at least max one or two more that way. I'm not sure. Yes. We'll see. All right. The way you're drinking it makes it look delicious. Master Coffee times dosal. It's like times two, but with this, with the, you know, Mexican slash also Durgany flair to it. Hence the dosal. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like the chief's gentlemanly charm is rubbing. I say Mexican, but dos is the Spanish word, you know, for two. And the language originated in Spain, but it's the language that Mexican people speak. Although now I'm starting to understand, apparently, and this is probably true for all languages to some degree or another. Kind of like how there's different dialects of English, but I feel like it's a little bit less... I don't know. Like... For example, British English is different in a lot of ways than American English. But as far as I'm aware, there's actually bigger differences in other language dialects. But let me know if, if it's actually true or not, friends. I actually never actually learned another language, not even in like high school. Because I was literally exempted from it because my uh, special ed people just decided that even though I was pretty gifted with words, although maybe they didn't know that part of me, they probably didn't. I never spoke up about it because I was such a meek kid. But I probably could have done really good in language classes, more or less, but I was literally exempted from them because they just assumed that I probably wouldn't be able to handle them. Um, I think it had something to do with the fact that it required memorizing a lot, and I very well might have had trouble with that. But I also very well might have not, because I know I have a good grasp of words. Um, but one of these days I might want to sit down and learn a language, but that's a whole other thing that, like... If I was to learn a language, it would probably be, I have plans to go to X country soon, and I have the money to do it. Let's learn the language. That's when I'd learn a language. Uh, <laughs> looks like the Chief's Only Charm is rubbing off on you. Like, it feels weird to learn something that feels extraneous to my goals. Um, like, to my general goals in life. That's how I've become. Is I want to learn things if they're going to benefit what I want to do with my life. And also just, and or just generally benefit, like, my mental health. Like, for example, um, I've learned a lot of things that have really helped me mentally, you know. And uh, I learn a lot of things about gaming every day and technology because I fucking, I want this to be, you know, at least the basis for my living. Um, at least the start of it, you know. Well, then. We should rest now. Have, we have a big day tomorrow. I'm just glad that I'm finally putting myself out there because I, I was such a, I was so afraid of putting myself out there that I could not make these videos for the longest time. Hey. Ah, we were able to get to grab a seat. Why don't you read something until we get there? Ah. Uh, do you have anything to read that like is gonna do anything for us? The Chinese sweets might be new, but I have a feeling they're not. We'll see. Beyond the Buns, rediscover the charms of Chinatown. Oh. It's Motomachi Chinatown, huh? Yeah, it looks like this is new, which is nice. Wow, the pictures really show how lively that place is. Everything from high-class traditional cuisine to street food, like Zhao Long Bao. Zhao Long Bao. Probably how you pronounce that. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's Zhao Long Bao. Um, this seems to be a fun place to explore and try all the different cuisine. Dude. Wow. So you finished reading Chinese sweets. There's so many shops in Chinatown, aren't there? A whole new area, huh? Okay, well, I never realized that there was a Chinatown as well that I never uh, discovered because I never read that book. That's what I could do is read those books at home, but then what would I do on the bus? So, yeah. Probably, I really do wonder if there's any, if it's, it's probably just to bring your friends there, so I might want to see if I can bring Makoto there and if she has anything specific to say about that. Um, if I can... Yeah, I think I'm going to start hanging around and seeing if I can go on a date with her 
uh, another one. Because I, I, I need some Makoto Romance fix anyway, so... I think I'll do that. Even if it's a redundant date that I've already done before. Because I think I've gone to all the places that I'm not sure if I have with her. Um, but yeah, if I can go to Chinatown with her or any of the other places I might still have to unlock. I don't know if there are anymore. But yeah, uh, I would like to do that. But I, I, will st I will definitely do at least one date with Makoto like after the whole palace thing's resolved. I'm not sure exactly how that resolves though, but the I'm sure there's going to be at least some extra days after all this stuff's over that we can do, so... Yeah. All right. You now have inf you now have information on a new hangout spot, Motomochi Chinatown. You can also invite people who may like it there to hang out with you. You should invite someone to go to Motomochi Chinatown sometime. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. Wheel, 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 wheel. Hi, Rao! Ah, good morning. Hmm. Everyone's really changed. Can this really be what happiness is? Doll. See. Yeah, it's not quite, in my opinion. Happiness is contentment with the way things are, which is the exact kind of thing that Maruki is not encouraging by literally changing people's reality is the one thing that a lot of people would like to do but absolutely cannot, and that is why true happiness is acceptance. Anyway, by true, I mean achievable happiness is acceptance. You know. <laughs> anyway. Uh, hey, why don't we go to me Mementos today? We can't just... Uh, and by acceptance, I mean, you know, the contentment beyond acceptance, not just acceptance. And also, acceptance is not... I want to stress this for people, because it took me a long time for me to understand this, and there seems to be people everywhere that... It seems like most people believe this still, and it scares me, but, like... Uh, acceptance does not mean... In fact, it means the exact opposite of... Like... You're not going to invite the change? Like, how do I explain this? A lot of people think, you know, well, if I accept this about myself, then I won't change it. That That's wrong. Once you accept it about yourself, you're no longer resisting it. Like, what you resist persists. There's a reason that saying happens. It's, it is a little counterintuitive, but think of it this way. Like... Um, I think that's part of it. It's, it's kind of intuitive to think acceptance must mean that, uh, I accept that it's there, that it will, it will always be there, and I, I can't, and that I shouldn't even try to change it. That's not true. But the thing is, is that exerting the effort to change it so negatively is kind of the reason you're stuck, and you don't realize that until you realize, okay, yeah, I've got a problem, or this is the way this is, or, okay... All right, so this is this, and you, you, you let go of the emotional attachment, and then you can logically think, okay, what can I do about it? You have to remove that negativity in order to do something about it. That's why you need to accept to change things. Anywho, thank you for coming to my TED Talk, my one of many, many TED Talks. It's kind of what this entire series is, is TED Talk after TED Talk after TED Talk, because, God damn it, more YouTubers need to do this, talk about personal stuff. Because I think a lot of people go to this stuff to avoid personal stuff, and that's not fucking healthy. You can still enjoy this stuff and not avoid your personal stuff. I still spend a lot of days, a lot of times playing video games, and I can tell you that I'm not avoiding my my demons anymore. I'm constantly working with them, and working um, to not let them control me, and working to, you know, figure out how better to live with the way that my mind is. And I'm succeeding. I am feeling better and better about more things all the time. And there, I have less struggles in every single area, every single day, because I am on the right path, and everyone else can be, and I believe in y'all. Anyway. Hey, why don't we go to Mentos today? We can't just leave things the way they are. Let's go. Yes. Okay, I'll see you later then. And yeah, it... it I. By the way, I love... That right after Haru was like, I'm determined, let's do this. The day after that, she, she comes up to you herself and goes, Hey, I love that, by the way. That Haru's the one that does this. I bet they deliberately put that in there because it makes so much sense. My dad? We're going... I bet, I bet they expected a lot of people to do exactly what I did, which is probably the other reason why they do this. And by the way, I'm, I'm happy to be back in... The gameplay loop of 5. I love the gameplay loop of 5. The specific gameplay loop in 5, specifically. I really love it. 
it's just very cozy to me. Not sure exactly what I mean by that. Um, but yeah. But yeah, a lot of people don't accept us now, um, would you join the Phantom Thieves? Because, you know, the Phantom Thieves, like, if you think about it, you know, most people wouldn't join the Phantom Thieves. You know why? You know why that number's so low? Because... See, what's interesting is you, you let this uh, random tangent, but, you know, welcome to me. But, um, like, random tangent, like, you, you let this stuff scroll enough, and people still say stuff. Like, help me, because not everyone is not struggling. Because I think that they don't really have anything that they want to change their life from, but they're still not, like, 100% happy from it. With it, it's interesting. There's clearly some people out there that are still not 100% happy. This game has made that pretty clear. Nope, ooh, that's a lot of people. It's just you know, like. But if you think about it, you know why most people don't want to join the Phantom Thieves? Because, 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 uh. The fan of these forums because these people had fucking shit that they wanted to change in the world. And now these people, you know, all these people don't have anything they want to change. They're like, yay, my life's exactly how I want it to be. The thing is, is that you don't really know how you really want your life to be. <laughs> I think that honestly, they're all starting to at least partly understand that there's things they actually lose from gaining this stuff back or the stuff that they wanted so much. And a lot of that is mental fortitude and stuff that you get from going through hardships. That's why they exist in life. I really think that there is a purpose to them. Or at the very least, you can decide there is one. Let me rephrase that. I feel like there isn't intrinsic purpose. But that's a beautiful thing. Because you then create the purpose of things. And if things don't need a purpose and you're just adding unnecessary purpose, then you can back off on that. And that also alleviates suffering. You literally can have a suffering-free life that looks the exact same on the outside as a suffering-filled life would be. It's all in your head, I promise. It doesn't seem like it at first. It fucking doesn't, but it is. I would know. I had an intense, like, awakening the last few years. Especially 2020, because fucking welcome to 2020. It woke a lot of people up with a fucking slap, basically. Including myself. Anyway. And it's kind of why I'm going ho about this starting this year and ending when fucking, you know, computer troubles, financial troubles, uh, freaking injuries, death, power troubles, or whatever stop me. Or, you know, I actually want to stop. I won't stop because of fear or because of I'm not... I'm not, you know, where I want to be with it yet, or whatever. I'm doing this because I love it, and I'm going to keep doing that until I'm making money from it so that I can do more with it. And that's just what I'm going to revolve my life around, is doing what I love. Because I have the platform to jump from to do that. A lot of people do not initially have that. They have to work first in order to be able to do a job that is not work to them. But I have that choice because my dad's awesome and keeping me here. Um, again, it's just it just takes mindset. I could be still living with my parents and not doing anything purposeful like this, but I am doing purposeful things, and it's awesome. It's, you can always do differently with your situation, even if you don't think so at first. I'm being held back when you're, when you're in high school for me. Interesting, they want to stay in school. It makes a lot of sense. I bet a lot of Japanese people want to stay in school if the fact that high schoolers are the focus of most of these, of, like, most Japanese stories, if, you, you know... Is anything to go by nowadays, you know? Your house more important than profits. There's no need for all the overtime, you know? I caught myself thinking about boss. That was weird. The whole family together for dinner? Isn't that how it's, we've always done it? Ah, uh, yeah, not quite, but... Yeah, I'm sorry, everyone. We're gonna kind of shake this reality up and rip it out from under you soon. I'm sorry about that. Oh, yeah, we said we'd meet at the hideout. Yeah, it's head there now. Hey, Samiri. Hey, hi, we're about to enter Mementos, correct? 
Uh, I know I'm still a newcomer, but I'll make sure not to slow the group down. I'm looking forward to working with you all. You all don't, uh, no way, man. I keep telling you, you're not going to be so formal. But if you want, I can teach you everything you got to know about what we do as the Phantom Thieves. Hey. I don't interrupt, but I already explained everything to her. Ah, so she knows all about palaces and all that? Ah, oh, yes, we're goddess empire. I already thought me all about them. Oh, yeah, okay, then. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ryoji. That's always been Morgana's role. And, of course, he's going to reprise it as much as he can. Guess you missed your chance to become a senpai, Ryuji. <laughs> you don't have to tease him about it, Futaba. What? Shut up. Wasn't even named for that anyways. Ryuji, you're not, you're not slick. <laughs> Ryuji, it's so obvious that you were. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to ruin your chance to become a Oh my god, Samira, you're so cute, I want to hug you. Well then, let's get back on topic. <laughs> we should begin by investigating mementos. But I'd prefer to avoid dying in vain due to a lack of preparation. No, we're not prepared the fuck. We're good. <laughs> Therefore, it's more important than ever now, but yes, yes, we're all fine. Right. As usual, dark handle, yep, beep, yep, yep, yep. I should write something. I should write something too in real life. Because writing things is part of my thing. 